Welcome back to my channel, Over the Hill Fitness. Dr. Rom Crespo back at you with another edition of Over the Hill Fitness. Today, what we're gonna be doing is another lean and green recipe demonstration, but really it's just gonna be just the, the first part of the recipe, and then we'll talk about what else you can put on that recipe later in the video. But for those of y'all that have been following me so far, thank you so much for your support. Can you believe I am now at 105 pounds released? Those pounds are gone. Hopefully they are gone forever if I stick on plan and follow my healthy habits of life. Everything's gonna be good. We're gonna stay off that. We've lost so much so far, we're not gonna be losing those steps that we've taken to progress to where we are right now. So for those of y'all that are on plan, hopefully my channel has supported you so far. Those of you trying to start your health plan, please reach out. I'd love to answer any questions that you have, whether it's this plan or any plan that you're trying to start to help you get healthy. For those of y'all that are not familiar with the Optavia 5-in-1 Optimal Weight Plan, pretty much you eat five fuelings that you get in your monthly box followed by one lean and green that you prepare on your own at home. You can do that for dinner, you can do it for lunch, you can do it for breakfast, you can spread it out throughout the day, whatever works for your schedule. But like I said, if you have any questions about that plan and you want some assistance moving forward on your health journey, reach out, I'd love to answer any questions that you have. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and click on subscribe, leave a comment. Also click the little like button because that also helps the algorithm to get this video out to other people that are out there to help them on their health journey. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also click on that ringer bell there so you can get notifications of upcoming content on Over the Hill Fitness. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna be doing a pizza crust. Now I've done cauliflower crust, I've done chicken crust. There is a recipe out there for, for zucchini crust, but I haven't tried that yet, but I will be trying that one day. But I, I saw some recipes out there for broccoli crust, bro broccoli pizza crust. I saw it at a, at a restaurant. We have a pizza place over here called Big Z's. They have cauliflower crust, which is amazing, but they also have broccoli crust. Now, when we went there, the broccoli crust wasn't available at the time, so we did the cauliflower, which was fine. You know, but I said, you know, I want, I want to try to make uh, broccoli crust because I have a bunch of broccoli that my wife brought home from her, her place of work. And so we were, what are we going to do with it? I don't want to just eat broccoli all day long. But I like broccoli, but what if I can make the broccoli into a pizza crust? So that's what we're going to do today. So here we go. So what we're gonna need for this recipe, we're gonna start off with a medium-sized broccoli head. I've got two here, because I'm gonna make two. I'm just gonna make one for, for this video, and then I'm gonna make the other one, then I'm gonna put them in the freezer to store for the future. Um, you're also going to need uh, one and one-third cup of reduced fat mozzarella cheese. I'm just gonna do the one-third for the pizza crust, and you do the other cup when you actually make the pizza that you're gonna wanna make. Um, you're also going to need one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You're also going to need one egg. Um, so we have the egg already out here. I'm also using egg whites. So I'd rather do that than just a regular egg, but you can just use one egg if you like. Um, you also need a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, followed by one eighth teaspoon of salt. I'm going to use some garlic salt because it is pizza and what's pizza without garlic? So garlic salt in its place and then half a cup of pizza sauce. You can make your own or you can use some out there. There's nothing that's really approved by Optavia right now regarding spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce, marinara sauce, but I like to use the Rouse, uh, but you can make your own as well to follow compliance. And then for my pizza, we're gonna use turkey pepperoni, which is also not approved, but I, I splurge every once in a while, but you can use the protein of your choice to complete your recipe. Preheat the oven to 400, some like to do it 425, just kind of try it out, see what works best for you. But we're gonna take the half head of broccoli and they say to cut it into florets, but I just like doing the stem, the whole thing. It tasted great, came out to a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, so here is the broccoli. And then we're just gonna take those pieces and put it in the food processor. I have a mini 
food processor. I'll leave a link in the uh, description for those of y'all that are looking for that. If you already have a food processor, perfect. So just stick it in there. Try to get it in there as good as you can. You might have to mix it up a little bit just to get it all. And it, it mixes really fast. You know, this food processor is really good, but the broccoli is just, just a little easier to mix up and to grind. So stick it in there. Move it around a little bit. We can get the full Look at that. We're gonna do that a few times to get all the broccoli grinded up and then we're gonna put it in a bowl. All right, next we're gonna stick it in the microwave for about two minutes so it can soften up and release that liquid in the broccoli. Here we go. Two minutes. All right, that's been two minutes. We took it out of the microwave and then we're gonna go ahead and put it in a kitchen towel or if you have a cheesecloth, we're gonna go ahead and drain the excess water from the broccoli. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the kitchen towel. I don't have a cheesecloth, so we're just gonna put it in the kitchen towel for now. Comes out to a lot of broccoli, guys. So it's gonna be a nice portion size pizza crust. Looks good up there. Gonna fold it up and squeeze out any excess water. See, there it goes. Look at that water. Just to release that liquid. Still a little hot from the microwave. That's okay. Try to get as much of that water out as possible. So when you do make it, it's not as soggy. I have found that even though I'm doing this, it still comes out a little soggier than cauliflower or um, chicken crust. So one day I'm gonna stick it in the air fryer to maybe, maybe uh, make it a little crispier. Look at all that excess water. And then we're gonna transfer it over to a bowl and get ready for the next step. All right, so we've transferred the drained broccoli into another bowl and now we're gonna add the other ingredients. We're gonna start off with the mozzarella. That's one third cup of mozzarella. And remember the other cup that's in the ingredients that will be for after we cook the crust. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and add the egg. That's gonna help it stick together. And then we're gonna do the Parmesan cheese. So here comes the Parmesan cheese. And we're going to add the Italian seasoning the Parmesan cheese was one fourth cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Then we're gonna do half a teaspoon 
of Italian seasoning. And we're gonna do one eighth teaspoon of the garlic sauce. Remember this is pizza. We want some garlic in this pizza. So we're gonna use the garlic sauce. And then we're gonna take all this and mix it up well. You get a good texture. Spread out the cheese, Parmesan, the mozzarella, the salt, the Italian seasoning, and the broccoli. Just mix it well. And all that's gonna help it form together so we can then make the actual pizza crust. Looks amazing. Look at that. All right, here we go for the pizza crust. So we have our baking pan here and I put some parchment paper on there. We're just gonna spray that lightly with some avocado spray just so it doesn't stick. And then we're just gonna take the mixture here and put it over the parchment paper. And then we're gonna form our pizza crust. Very simple. So just like chicken crust, cauliflower crust, the flatter you get it, the bigger it'll get, the thicker it is, the smaller it'll be. So we like it as big as we can get it. Just make your circle as circular as possible. Just do the best you can. This is your pizza, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. You want to make it a square, make it a square. A rectangle, make it a rectangle. You want to make it a happy face or a triangle, you do you and do what's best for you and your family. All right. It's really good. Look at that. Next, we're gonna stick it in the oven for 20 minutes. That has been 20 minutes in the oven. Take a look at that. Looks great. It's got nice little brown edges on there on the crust. And so what the next step is, is you put your tomato sauce, your marinara, your pizza sauce on top, followed by your cheese, followed by your pepperoni or whatever protein it is that you want. So we're gonna do that in a little bit. That'll be our next step. Went ahead and put the pizza sauce followed by the remaining mozzarella cheese. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the turkey meatballs. And just kind of spread those out as much as you can. What I've found with spreading these out, your meat on your pizzas, you're gonna cut it in the middle on both vertical and horizontal. You try to kind of keep some space there for where you're going to cut. So these turkey meatballs are pretty big. So I only used um, three per serving uh, because of the mozzarella cheese. So I'm trying to leave some space, but they are pretty big even if I cut them. So we can evenly split those up once it's all said and done. That was gonna be interesting. All right, I think that's good. Here is the other serving. All right, so that does that. So that gives me a little bit of space in the middle on both sides there. We're gonna go ahead and put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes and all we're really wanting to do is melt the cheese. The meatballs are already pre-made. Pre they just need to be heated up and then we'll put it in there for 10 minutes and we'll see what it looks like. That's been about 10 minutes. So you can see the cheese has now melted. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut into it. Try to get it as even as possible. This is two servings. Look at that, that looks great. 
pull this paper over just a little bit. Get this other side. Nice. And now the best part, the taste test. Ooh, look how that comes off. Step back on there, look at that. Look at that. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. The taste test. Look at that pizza. Isn't that beautiful? Woo. Here we go. Mm. That's good. That is really good. Mm. So, so good. You have to have to try it. Got to try this lean and green broccoli crust pizza added to your repertoire. There's so many great things you can do in this program, keeping food healthy, but still delicious. So, so good. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to try in the future for a future episode of Over the Hill Fitness. And like always, it's a great day to be alive. It's a great time to hold each other accountable. If someone hasn't told you lately, you matter. Believe in the possibilities of being great, treat each other the way you want to be treated, and never be satisfied as there's always an opportunity to be a better version of yourself. Have a great rest of the day and see you soon.